Hello everyone, welcome to Wine Library TV. This is Sean M. coming to you from a rainy day in Rudelling, Switzerland, where I recommend the local wines. And here is Gary Vaynerchuk. Now the world don't move to the beat of just one drum. What might be right for you may not be right for some. A man is born, he's a man of means. Then along come two. They got nothing but the genes, but they got different strokes it takes. Different strokes it takes. Different strokes to move the world. Welcome to Wine Library TV. I'm your host, Gary Vaynerchuk, a.k.a. Mr. Drummond. I hope you enjoyed the intro. Sean M., great intro from Switzerland. I really appreciate it. Thank you for saving us, but we have no videos in the vaults. Guys, I need them this weekend. Speaking of all the interaction, the forums are on fire. If you've not registered yet, you've got to get on board, and you've got to check out this link. Screenshot. All right, there's a link right below the wines on this episode, so you have to check that out. Get on board. It's really, really rad. No Jets game this weekend. I am leaving for Paris, France tomorrow. So I will be taping today two more episodes for Monday and Tuesday because I just won't be here on Monday and Tuesday. I'll see you back semi-live on Wednesday. Today we're going to be doing Sauterne. Sauterne is really my, one of my favorite wines in the world. Great after-dinner drinks, very dessert-oriented wine, and it's just amazing stuff. We've never solely focused on it, or I don't think so. And more importantly, we've got the legend live Chateau de Cam. So I'm really excited, and let's get right into the festivities. Looks like Darth Vayner's been getting into my stash. Um, the Chateau de Arche, 2003, 92 points Robert Parker, and only $17 for a half bottle. Let's see what's going on with this. It's corked. So there you go. Off to a very interesting start. I'm going to need a different glass, probably. Can you, you know, actually, yeah. I'll be right back. That stunk. Let me just do a little rinse it around. All right. Awkward Friday episode. There's a lot going on here. Bow Rat, Mr. Drummond, corked wines. It's Friday, folks. Mix it up. And we're going to mix it up right now with the Rumio Lacoste Sauterne, 89 points, Wine Spectator, $29, 2001, extremely good vintage, wow, super disappointed about the Diarche, $17, 92 Parker, I thought it was going to be a home run for us to recommend to you, we will try to get it back on the show, because being corked should not eliminate you from being on the show, very smoky on this nose, I'm getting a very obvious burnt oak nose, um, getting a little bit of honey, Yeah, a lot of honey. I'm getting a little bit of a lemon peel as well, but a, a very smoky burnt oak, even like a smoked, smoked uh, salami actually coming even through. So it's a very interesting nose. I don't think we'll be spinning today. Um... Very smooth, tannins and acidity are very, very light. Um, nice golden color, nice golden apple flavor as well coming through, 14.5 alcohol. Getting a little heat on the finish, but not too, too bad. Went down extremely smooth. It's got a little hint of pear also on the finish. I'm enjoying this wine. This is a solid sauterne. Probably gonna score this 90 points. I'm gonna go point above the uh, spectator. I think they underscored this a little bit. Um, I really enjoy it, and I think, uh, I think it's a, a great, great, you know, wine to have with cheese. If you're a big cheese fan, guys, this is the way to go. I mean, I know a lot of people talk about port, but sauternes with cheese and apples are just some of my favorite things in the world. All right. And now, the crown jewel. The Chateau de Cam, 1998. This is not a great vintage of de Cam, 
91 points Parker. It's a very, it's a, you know, but the chem is the chem. I mean, this is really, you know, this is really the top of the line, $110 for a half bottle, 91 points Parker. Sauterne is in the middle of Grave, and what makes Sauterne so amazing is that these grapes get noble rot, botrytis, and what happens is they get a very raisiny kind of aspect to them, and they get these great shots of sugar, and they get huge sugar levels, and just really are some of the most expensive wines in the world to make, and that's why you see the prices are so expensive. They lose a lot because of the noble rot, and so small production wines, great quality, and really anybody who's into wine should really go out and enjoy a sauterne. If nothing else, on this glorious Friday, I want to really scream, sauterne! You know, I mean, really, please go out and try one. You know, the chem's obviously very pricey. I thought I was bringing on something that was going to be great for everybody. We'll have to retry that, but this is, this is fantastic. Um, and more importantly, this is the most interesting and exciting way I can think of ending a week, ending a week of Wine Library TV with a glass of Chateau de Chem. I mean, the nose is amazing. It's got almost like a, it's got obvious honey, but you know what's really coming through on the nose? Does anybody out there eat grape nut cereal? It's one of my favorites. I was got a real quick splash of that nose right away. And then almost like a lemon meringue pie on the nose as well, very obvious as well. Those are three extremely obvious characteristics. I know a lot of people talk about they can't smell everything, but on this one, I think you can really get those three pretty easily. This smells like pure heaven. That's right, I spit the chem. It's got a very obvious um, lemon rank pie flavor as well as the nose. It, the finish is extremely low. I mean, it's, it's still racing and that's why I'm, I'm kind of stopping for a second. I noticed a commenter the other day said, um, stop spitting, let's see you get slosh, Gary. These are the kind of wines that I can see myself getting slosh on very easily. They're obviously extremely attractive, very seductive wines. Um, this has a very long finish, very honeysuckle, a little bit of pear, very obvious apple on the finish. I think Parker's underscored this wine. I'm going to have to go a little bit higher. I'm going to go to 93 plus points, which still makes me say that this wine is a pass. You know, at 110 bucks, I think you can definitely do better, but this is quite an experience, and if you've ever had 90 Chateau de Chem or, you know, some of the other classic vintages, there's a 67, there's, there's nothing like it. And more importantly, what other wine can you take in a small bottle, take it to a football game, and while nobody's looking, when your team's not doing well, just slug. That's right, I slug Chateau de Chem on Wine Library TV, and here's my question for you. Who... Would you invite to a dinner if you could only invite one person and share a bottle of wine with? Living is one category, deceased is another. You, with a tiny bit of me, are changing the wine world, aren't we?